The journey to greatness begins with a single step, and as we leave 2023 behind, it's time to ask ourselves, what can I do today to be the best version of myself tomorrow as the final chapter of 2023 draws to a close? We stand at the threshold of a new dawn, beckoning us to embrace a moment of reflection and anticipation. You know, life's a bit like an uncharted journey, where each day offers a new chance to shape our destiny. The ancient Stoics, with their profound wisdom, understood this. Well, they weren't just philosophers. Lost in thought, they were realists, deeply connected with the rhythms of life. Imagine a quiet evening in late 2023. You're reflecting on the past year one. Start small and pondering the future. It's not just about setting resolutions that might be forgotten. It's about embedding habits that will shape your life. So here are 10 Stoic-inspired habits crafted for the transition from 2023 to 2024. These aren't just ideas to ponder, they're actions to live by. And don't worry, we're not going to delve into complex jargon. This is Stoicism for today, straightforward, practical, and directly applicable to your daily life. 1. Start small. George Washington, a man whose resolve shaped a nation, cherished the saying, many mickles make a muckle, a humble, Scottish proverb, yet it captures a profound truth. The grand is made up of the tiny, similarly Zeno. The founder of Stoicism had it right when he said well-being is realized by small steps, but it's no small thing. He understood that transformation doesn't happen in leaps, but in small, deliberate strides. Think of it like planting seeds. Each tiny seed has the potential to grow into something magnificent, so how do we apply this? Let's say you aim to read more instead of setting an overwhelming goal. Commit to a page a day. It's like building a mosaic. Each small piece adds to the grand picture. Remember a walk begins with a single step and a habit starts. 2. Stop letting anxiety rule over you with a single action. James Clear's Atomic Habits echoes this sentiment beautifully. The essence of atomic habits isn't just in their explosive potential, but in their foundational nature and atom. The smallest unit yet holds immense power. Our smallest habits similarly are the building blocks of profound change. And here's a stoic secret. It's not just about doing small things, but also thinking small. Avoid the trap of grand unattainable promises, Instead, focus on what's right in front of you, the immediate, the achievable. As you string together these small victories, you'll find they lead to significant transformations. Remember, even the mightiest river starts as a trickle. So as we step into 2024, let's embrace the power of starting small. After all, as Zeno would remind us, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Two. Stop letting anxiety rule over you. There's a storm we all face one that brews not in the sky but within us. Anxiety, it's a shadow that follows us, whispering about what could go wrong, what might happen. But here's a stoic truth. You're not a puppet, and anxiety should not be the puppeteer. Marcus Aurelius, a man who helmed an empire, understood this in his meditations. He wrote today, I escaped from anxiety, or no. 3. Create a routine I discarded it because it was within me that's a powerful realization. The turbulence isn't in the plane or the airport, it's in us now. How do we break free from this invisible chain? First own your feelings. Recognize that anxiety is a product of your thoughts, not the world around you. It's like a fog clouding your vision, making mountains out of molehills. The key is to clear that fog to see the world as it is, not as your fears paint it. This is where mindfulness plays its part. Take a moment, breathe and ask yourself, is this worry a product of what's happening happening or what I fear might happen more often than not? You'll find it's the latter. Finally, let's debunk a myth. Anxiety is not a preemptive solution to potential problems. 
In fact, it's quite the opposite. It doesn't prepare you. It paralyzes you. It's like sitting in a rocking chair. There's a lot of movement, but you're going nowhere. So as we transition into the new year, let's pledge to unshackle ourselves from the chains of anxiety. Let's approach life with a clear mind and a steady heart. As Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events realize this, and you will find strength. Remember the only storm you need to weather is the one inside you. Three, create a routine. Imagine your day as a blank canvas. Without a plan, it's just a space. Four, give yourself the order to stop waiting to be filled haphazardly. But with a routine, it's a masterpiece in the making. The power of a routine lies not in rigidity, but in providing a framework to channel your energy effectively. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher whose wisdom has traversed centuries, once said, life without a design is erratic. He knew that a well-structured day is a well-spent day. So how do you craft this routine? It's not about copying someone else's schedule. It's about creating one that resonates with you. Start by identifying your most productive time of the day. Are you a morning person like me who thrives in the quiet hours of dawn or does your energy peak as the day unfolds? Tailor your routine around this natural rhythm. Dedicate your prime hours to your, your most important tasks, the ones that require your full attention and creativity for me. It's about owning the morning, not letting it own me. I start with activities that set a positive tone for the day. A walk, a moment of reflection, tackling a creative project before the world wakes up. But remember, a routine isn't just about work. It's about balance, integrate habits that nourish your, your mind, body and soul. Maybe it's reading, exercising or spending quality time with loved ones. And crucially, stick to your routine. Consistency is the glue that holds it all together as you build this routine. You'll find that it becomes a foundation for good habits to grow, after all. As Seneca reminds us, principles are necessary, and what's a routine if not a principle? You live by five. Free up precious. Resources every, every day. Embrace the structure and watch as the uncertain chaos transforms into a symphony of productivity and peace. Four, give yourself the order to stop. There's a story that echoes through time, not of a battle or a conquest, but of a personal victory. Dwight D. Eisenhower, a man whose decisions shaped history, faced a formidable foe. His four-pack-a-day smoking habit, his docked words were, a clarion call quit, or face dire consequences. Eisenhower's response he gave himself in order to stop, and just like that, he quit cold turkey after 40 years. It's a testament to a profound stoic principle. No man is free who is not master of himself, as Epictetus once said. This tale isn't just about overcoming a smoking habit. It's about conquering any vice that holds you captive. We all have our battles, be it with unhealthy habits, procrastination or negative thinking. The key to victory lies in giving yourself the order to stop. It's about asserting control over your impulses rather than letting them control you. Seneca, another Stoic. Sage observed, we are all slaves to something. But the beauty of Stoicism lies in recognizing that we hold the keys to our own chains. So how do you apply this to your life? Identify that one. One thing may be it's that extra cup of coffee, endless scrolling on social media, or any habit six. Do something difficult that's more of a hindrance than a help. Acknowledge its impact on your life. Then make a firm, unequivocal decision to stop. It's not about gradual change. It's about a definitive, deliberate action. When you give yourself the order to stop, you're not just breaking a habit, you're reclaiming your freedom and as you step into 2024, carry this empowering message you are the commander of your destiny and the first command is to master yourself. Five free up. Precious resources time.
The most valuable resource we have is often squandered on trivialities. We claim to be starved of time, yet a glance at our screen time reveals the truth. It's not about having more time, it's about using the time we have. Wisely, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's essential. Epictus, a philosopher known for his practical wisdom, said, If you wish to improve, be willing to appear clueless or stupid about some things. This is about making a conscious choice to not get sucked into the, the vortex of non-essentials, be it doom-scrolling excessive news consumption or other digital distractions. The strategy here is twofold awareness and action. First, become acutely aware of where your time goes. Track your activities for a day or a week. You'll likely be surprised at how much time is spent on activities that add little value to your life. This awareness is the first step towards change. Next, take decisive action. Start by reducing the time spent on these distractions. Set limits on your app. 7. Associate with people who make you better. Usage designate specific times for news consumption. And avoid aimlessly browsing the internet. This isn't about cutting off from the world, but about choosing not to drown in it. As you reclaim your time, you'll find you have more of it for things that truly matter. Purs pursuing your goals, nurturing relationships and personal growth. This habit isn't just about time management, it's about life management. It's about ensuring that the precious hours of your day are spent on pursuits that enrich your life, not deplete it, as we transition into 2024. Let's remind ourselves of Epictetus's words and focus our energy and time on what truly contributes to our well-being and growth. Remember, every minute spent on something meaningless is a minute taken away from something meaningful. Six, do something difficult at the dawn of each new year. Seneca, a stoic heavyweight, didn't just make resolutions. He made a statement. He plunged into the icy waters of the Tiber River. It wasn't for a swim. It was a declaration of M. Mastery over himself. He was saying loud and clear, I'm in charge. This act wasn't about the chill of the water. It was about the fire. It kindled within a fire of self-assertion and resilience. It's a vivid reminder that eight, Stop fearing change. Sometimes doing something difficult can be the most empowering act. So how do we bring this stoic lesson into our lives? It starts with stepping out of our comfort zone. Choose something that challenges you, something that makes you a bit uneasy. It could be anything waking up an hour earlier, a cold shower, speaking up in a meeting, or even learning a new skill. The task itself isn't as important as the act of pushing your boundaries. It's in these moments of discomfort that we grow the most. It is where we find out what we're truly capable of. The essence of this practice is not in the difficulty itself, but in the assertion of your will over your instincts. It's a testament to your inner strength, a demonstration that you are more than your fears and hesitations as you embark on this journey of doing something difficult, remember Seneca's unspoken message, I control my actions, my reactions and my mind. Let 2024 be the year where you embrace challenge, where you prove to yourself that you can do hard things after all. In the face of challenge, we don't just survive, we thrive. Seven associate with people who make you better, the company we keep molds us more than we often realize. It's like walking through a forest. The paths you choose determine where you end up. This idea isn't new Stoics understood the power of a sock association. Seneca, through his letters, demonstrated the value of surrounding oneself with people who inspire growth and wisdom. He once wrote, associate with those who will make a better man of you. This isn't just about choosing friends, it's about choosing nine. Say no to the inessential influences that shape your character and your life. So how do you apply this in today's world? Start by taking a close look at your circle. Who are the people you spend the most time with? Do they embody the qualities you admire and aspire to? It's not about finding perfect people. 
It's about finding those who challenge you, support your growth and share your values. It's like planting yourself in fertile soil, where the environment is conducive to growth. Remember if you dwell with those who limp, you'll learn to limp too. And this isn't just about avoiding negative influences. It's also about actively seeking positive ones. Create your own stoic circle, be it a book club, a discussion group, or just a set of friends committed to personal growth. Engage in activities that enrich your mind and soul. Discuss ideas, debate philosophically and challenge each other. As Seneca said, we learn as we teach by surrounding yourself with people who push you to be better. You'll find that you don't just rise to the occasion, you rise above it. Let 2024 be the year. You cultivate your garden of influences, ensuring that every person in it adds value to your life's journey. Eight, stop fearing change. Embracing change is like 10. Come back to rhythm learning to ride the waves resist, and you'll be toppled over, but adapt, and you'll be carried forward. Marcus Aurelius, in his reflective meditations, mused on the nature of change. He understood that life's rhythm is a constant EB and flow of transformation. By fearing change, we close ourselves off to the myriad possibilities and opportunities that come with it. It's not just about accepting change, it's about welcoming it with open arms to incorporate this into your life. Start by shifting your perspective view change, not as a threat, but as an inevitable and exciting part of life. It's a chance for growth learning and new experiences this year. Challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone. Try something new, be it a hobby, a career move, or even a new way of thinking. It's in these moments of uncertainty and novelty that we often find our most profound growth and satisfaction. Moreover, develop a mindset of adaptability, like a tree that bends in the wind but doesn't break. Learn to be flexible in the face of change. Adaptability doesn't mean being passive, it's about actively finding ways to thrive in new circumstances as you navigate the changing landscapes of life. Remember the words of Marcus Aelius, the universe's change, our life, is what our thoughts make it. Let 2024 be the year where you ride the waves of change with skill and grace, turning every new challenge into an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Nine say no to the inessential. In a world brimming with choices and distractions, the art of saying no becomes a superpower. Marcus Aurelius, a man who juggled the complexities of ruling an empire, recognized the power in discernment. He wisely noted that much of what we do isn't essential by saying no to the inessential. In a world brimming with choices and distractions, the art of saying no becomes a superpower. Marcus Aurelius, a man who juggled the complexities of ruling an empire, recognized the power in discernment. He wisely noted that much of what we do isn't essential. By saying no to the inessential, we don't just free up time, we amplify our ability to focus on what truly matters. It's about making room for the essential, by clearing out the clutter to adopt this in your life. Start by evaluating your commitments. Are they aligning with your values and goals? It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of busy work, that in reality contributes little to our overall purpose practice. The art of saying no to these distractions, this doesn't mean becoming aloof or unhelpful. It's about setting boundaries that enable you to dedicate your energy to pursuits that are genuinely meaningful. Remember every time you say yes to something insignificant, you're indirectly saying no to something important. Flip this equation, make your IESs count, Give an emphatic, wholehearted yes to activities that enrich your life, whether it's personal development, relationships, or your passions. This selective yes is not just a response. It's a commitment to excellence in what truly matters. As you move into the new year, let your yes be reserved for what brings you closer to the person you aspire to. Conclusion, be echoing us, Aurelius's wisdom, 
Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Allow 2024 to be the year where you refine the delicate and impactful skill of declining the non-essential, thereby charting a path towards a life rich in focus, purpose and deep satisfaction. 10. Come back to more stoic wisdom rhythm. Embracing our humanity includes accepting our imperfections and missteps. Marcus Aurelius, a leader who navigated the complexities of life and empire knew well, the inevitability of faltering, he once reflected on the importance of not just getting up when we fall, but also recognizing the beauty in our humanity that allows us to do so. It's a call to understand that stumbling is part of our journey, not a deviation from it in practical terms. This means adopting a mindset of resilience and forgiveness. When you slip up on your diet, miss a workout or falter in your resolutions, don't view it as a failure. Instead, see it as an integral part of the process of growth. The key is in how you respond to these setbacks. Do you berate yourself or do you acknowledge the slip and gently steer yourself back on track? Embrace the latter approach. It's about creating a habit of self-compassion and persistence. Each time you return to your path, you reinforce the habit of resilience. Celebrate your capacity to return to your rhythm, no matter how many times you might lose it. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's about progress and the continuous journey. Back to what matters, as Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it. That matters as we stride forward into 2024. Let's carry with us the essence of these stoic practices, not just as concepts, but as daily actions that mold our lives. Remember the journey towards self-discipline, resilience and serenity isn't just about understanding stoicism, it's about living it. Each day offers a new canvas and your actions are the brush strokes that paint your life's portrait. So start today, pick a practice, maybe it's a moment of morning reflection or an act of kindness and see how it transforms your world. Your feedback and stories of transformation are the fuel that keeps this journey vibrant and evolving together. Let's explore this path of continual growth and share our experiences, shaping not just our own lives, but also inspiring those around us. Thank you for being a part of this journey for your support and for choosing to make each day a step towards a richer, more meaningful life. Don't forget to watch our next video for more insights and inspiration on your journey. With Stoicism, your path to growth continues there.